New at 8, the Oakland A's dream of a baseball stadium on the edge of the Oakland estuary is moving forward today. The team released its plan spelling out what the privately funded billion dollar project could mean for the team, the city, and East Bay residents. Ron Forrest, Teresa Stasio talked with the A's president, Dave Cavill. So we really need a new home. It's gotten too old. It's at the end of its useful life. The lights went out the other night, which was kind of embarrassing. That's Oakland Athletics President Dave Cavill on the team's quest to move out of the Coliseum into a brand new waterfront ballpark. On Friday, the latest inning in this very long game, the team is trying to win. They released their financial offer to the city, batting out promises such as the team will privately finance a state-of-the-art ballpark at Howard Terminal. The team will commit to using unionized labor. The team will earmark $450 million to be used for community benefits, such as affordable housing. And the ballpark will be the most environmentally sustainable project of its kind in California history. Now, Cavill says, all eyes are on the city council. Well, the key is this city council vote. You know, we've had everyone else vote on it. We've had the port, the state legislature, the governors weighed in. They've all been positive. So, um, this is really the last gating item that we need to get approval on, and that's why we want to ha have it happen as soon as possible. Hopefully, you know, in, in June probably, and that we can have it, you know, be something that moves the project forward. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff giving Cron for this statement, quote, We need a deal that's good, not just for the A's, but for the city. One that provides specific, tangible, and equitable benefits to our residents and doesn't leave Oakland's taxpayers on the hook. Cavill says he understands how some might question the plan on the plate, but swings with this reply. I think the history of bad deals in Oakland is real with the Raiders and, and the Warriors and things like that. And those teams left. But that's why our program is very different. You know, we're giving money to the city, we're not asking for money. We're saying, hey, we want to give a privately financed ballpark. We want to give $450 million in community benefits. And the project actually generates a billion dollars in general fund. Teresa Estacio, Cron4 News.